If that's not American, I'll kiss your ass. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to talk about Fighting Rifle from Tactical Response and my after action report. I took the class uh, this winter, over the winter, uh, down in Tucson uh, with Tim and Jay as my instructors. The uh, class has been hosted down in Tucson for about uh, 11 years now. And if you're out here on the West Coast, it's a great opportunity to cruise down to Tucson, meet uh, the hosts, which are some great dudes, Mike and Larry, uh, and do some tactical response training somewhere other than Camden. Now, the, uh, the course itself is a two-day course, eight hours each day. Uh, it requires 1,500 rounds of rifle and 500 rounds of pistol ammunition. Um, I use Fioki 223A, which is the 55 grain full metal jacket boat tail round. Uh, their standard 55 grain ball and then I use the Fioki 9mm uh, 115 grain uh, ball ammo for my pistol. No issues there, uh, worked perfectly and, and uh, nothing to report there, right? Uh, the rifle that I used was a uh, Spikes Tactical Pipe Hitters Union uh, rifle that you see here. In the uh, in the class, I actually used an SOE single point sling. I've since changed to an SOE uh, two point sling with a uh, with a tourniquet pouch on it. Um, but that's a recent change. Everything else on the rifle uh, is the same as I ran it in the class. No issues with the rifle whatsoever. Not even a uh, a single um, hiccup. The only malfunctions that that uh, the gun had were induced by the instructors during the class. Um, so that's awesome. The, uh, if you want to see all the accoutrement of the rifle, I will link the uh, video that I did previously called Anatomy of a Fighting Rifle, and that will break down all of the, um, you know, gadgets and widgets and stuff that I have on that rifle, uh, and go into further depth in exactly what that rifle is. Um, so that was the rifle I used. Uh, to carry my rifle, spare rifle ammunition, I used the SOE uh, M4 AK micro rig that you see here uh, with the chest harness. I'm not going to clip it on, but uh, this is this is what I used here. Uh, it worked great. It's obviously uh, held up perfectly. Um, these are really really convenient, uh, nice uh, lightweight uh, ways to carry your ammunition your, and your medical. Uh, it has an admin pouch, and obviously it's made by SOE, made in the motherfucking USA. Uh, it's going to last forever. So uh, I used that during the class, uh, and it was awesome. I, uh, I carried my Glock 19 in an NSR outside the waistband holster um, that you see here. Uh, you know, very nice lockup, but, you know, keeps it secure, but you can still get your gun out when you need it. And uh, I ran that outside the waistband. Uh, once we go to rifles and we're putting on chest rigs and stuff like that, I don't really see the need to be concealed anymore. So I threw that on and I threw the um, double mag carrier uh, from NSR over here on this side. Uh, one other piece of gear, I guess you would call it, that I used that I want to give a shout out to uh, were the pants that I wore. Uh, I recently discovered a company called Proper out of St. Louis, Missouri. Um, Apparently, I've been buying their pants for a while and didn't know it. Uh, they make a lot of the military, like BDUs and uh, uh, woodland, you know, the military uniforms or whatever, whatever you call them. They have a lot of those contracts, so they make those. But they also make a like a civilian line, and the ones that I like are called uh, the summer weights, and they're kind of light, uh, and they have cargo pockets. They come in, in different colors. They're kind of discreet and like a little bit more uh, low profile than let's say wearing some 511 multicam pants around or something like that. Uh, so I like those and they're, like I said, they're kind of low profile but they still have the pockets uh, to put extra magazines and stuff like that in them. Uh, I really enjoy those uh, pants, especially for uh, taking classes. So check them out. Where Proper is their Instagram. Uh, they're uh, Proper on Facebook. Uh, let them know I sent you and, uh, and that would be cool. Um, so, getting on to the class, that's the gear that I use. Um, getting on to the class, the class uh, 
starts with a safety brief, uh, you know, and a medical briefing. They tell you where the medical bag is, how to get to the hospital. It's in the GPS and the truck and all that stuff. They go over the force uh, universal firearm safety rules, make sure no one is a complete dullard, uh, and, uh, and then that's that. Uh, when you get your booklet, the very first page you open to is the Marine Rifleman's Creed. So that lets you know that you're about to do cool shit, okay? And this class, this fighting rifle class, is a... How, how do I, I, I don't know the best way to articulate this, but um, it is a introduction into being an American rifleman. It's, it's the meat and potatoes uh, of becoming an American rifleman. Um, so, just from the get-go, when you see the Marine Rifleman Creed and you, and you, and you read that and you, you, know, you realize that you're doing something above and beyond what the normal person that goes and you know, does the NRA class or whatever does. So, um, they go through that. The next part of the class is a staple at tactical response. It is the uh, hierarchy of survival principles, mindset, tactics, skill, gear. They go, uh, they break that down and the course follows that as far as what they emphasize and what they're teaching you. They're teaching you the mindset first, tactics second, showing you some skills and giving you some things to practice to develop skills and then they're testing your gear so that you know that your gear is reliable and uh, will perform when you need it to but if you want to like talk about the new Wackmaster 9000 um, this this probably isn't the class for you you should probably um, go take something else but anyways uh, if you want to learn how to fight with your rifle this is your class um, then the next thing they go over is the Wyatt protocol fight assess scan top off a lot of you guys know this is fast um, that's the Wyatt protocol they go over that and what it means with the rifle uh, and, and you know, these are principles that are built into the uh, tactical response curriculum. So if you've taken fighting pistol, you, you understand these. Um, the next thing they do is they break down the pros and cons of a rifle uh, and kind of go into the application. Uh, what, what as uh, we, as in the civilian context or the, you know, protector of our community and culture context, what we would be using rifles for. Uh, what we can expect out of them, and uh, and how to apply them uh, most useful, uh, most usefully, I guess you'd say, if that's even a word. Uh, then they go over some of the accessories that are nice to have, some of the things that, that they believe are, are must-haves, um, and I, I tend to line up with, with their philosophy uh, pretty heavily on this, so once again, check out the link below for the anatomy of a fighting rifle, and you'll kind of dive into that area. Uh, then they teach you how to zero your gun, uh, how to zero your rifle. They go over the principles of zeroing. Uh, you should have a zeroed rifle when you get there, but you'd be surprised how many people don't. Um, and then uh, they go over, uh, or not go over, they dive into the uh, marksmanship print, uh, principles uh, and fundamentals. So they, they really dissect the fundamentals of marksmanship, uh, sight picture, sight alignment, trigger control, follow through. They explain what each one of those mean and how you apply those so that you're a better marksman uh, during your fight. Because uh, marksmanship is important, it's just not the most important. Um, and then they go over some principles of uh, fighting with a rifle. Um, like, uh, what did I write? Oh, sorry, I can't read my own handwriting sometimes. Uh, they go over uh, you know, the positions uh, that you would use your rifle in. Um, and, and various ways to implement your rifle. Then they, uh, they teach you how to unload, and, or excuse me, they teach you the proper loading and unloading of your gun. They teach you um, emergency reload versus proactive reload. They teach you, um, you know, uh, how to switch sides and, and uh, what do they call that? Where you, sh um, sh you shoot from this side, and it, you use this hand, I, I think Gabe Suarez came up with this. I, I'm not a big fan of it, but you like use your right hand, and but they also teach you how to switch hands, which is better. Um, but anyways, I digress. Um, and they kind of they kind of 
let you make up your own mind on what works and what doesn't, but they show you the techniques and they kind of let you figure out what works for you. Um, they, they teach you the, uh, uh, an emergency reload versus a proactive reload, which I think I already said, um, uh, how to properly clear malfunctions. And then they teach you how to utilize cover, how to, and the difference between cover and concealment, uh, how to switch, uh, you know, shoulders and, and that stuff, how to utilize cover, how to properly um, maintain yourself around cover and, and, and things like that. Um, so that's, that's all the principles of fighting with a rifle, which are obviously important. Um, the next thing that they go into, uh, and I think this, uh, this is uh, uh, something that can be overlooked because people think, oh, I got a rifle, like, you know, this thing is going to shoot down a 747 as soon as it looks at it. Um, they, they talk about damage to the human body and how to inflict the damage that you want to inflict with your rifle so that whoever was doing the felonious activity uh, that made you shoot them, uh, so they stop doing that. So they go over some um, anatomy and how to damage the human body. Um, then they, they go over the OODA loop and Colonel Boyd and, and kind of explain how that works and how you can um, use that to your advantage and how not to get trapped in your own loop. Um, and uh, during all this, while they're teaching these principles, I, I, should, I should say, um, while they're teaching you all of this, you're doing drills. So you're doing like the DEA dot drill, you're doing um, uh, height over bore offset drills, you're doing um, different like hostage drills and shooting on the move. and um, So they're teaching you these principles in let's say a lecture style, you know, classroom style, and then they're te te uh, taking you to the line and, and applying those principles uh, with an accompanying drill or drills, right? So uh, this whole time while you're learning all of this stuff, you're also um, doing it. You're, you're putting it into action. Um, the next thing uh, that, that I highlighted that was really eye-opening, uh, that they did a great job with, was they teach you how to communicate with a buddy, with a partner. Um, and for me, uh, this is uh, very important because my, me and my wife uh, have a uh, home protection plan that requires us to communicate with each other and, uh, and really getting some professional instruction on how to do that effectively and, and what uh, to emphasize was very, very helpful and very useful. Um, and then you work on some team movement, you do some, some team movement drills and some, some uh, uh, cover and move type of stuff, which um, to be honest is, from what I've seen everywhere else, this is advanced stuff that they're teaching you with a rifle that uh, most schools, you wouldn't get to do this stuff until like day six, day five, maybe. Um, so uh, there's a lot of value in fighting rifle. And uh, the, the last thing that I have here, and I have it highlighted really, is the um, emphasis on mindset throughout the entire class. Um, and this is a overarching theme with uh, tactical response classes is getting you in the right mindset so that while you're doing these repetitions and while you are learning these skills and, and honing your tactics, that the mindset is the basis for all this and that putting you in the right state of mind to uh, absorb the information and to um, have that information be relevant and realistic to the context that you're that you're applying here. So uh, I can't recommend fighting rifle highly enough. I know I say that about a lot of classes, but I don't really tend to take shitty classes. And if I did take a shitty class, I probably wouldn't do a video on it. So uh, the ones that I do a video on are the ones I highly recommend usually. Um, but um, yeah, fighting rifle. You, if you haven't taken it yet, I'm going to leave you with a quote from another tactical response instructor, Don Numbers, uh, the MF Armor. 
He said, if you want to learn how to protect yourself, take fighting pistol. If you want to know how to protect your nation, take fighting rifle. And I left that class uh, with that statement ringing truer than I would have ever imagined. Um, I feel uh, a lot more confident and competent in my ability to protect my community and my culture now uh, that I've taken this class. Um, head on over to tacticalresponse.com. I'll link it below. Check out their course schedule. Sign up for it. Order some ammo from Ammo Supply Warehouse. Make sure you get that Fioki and uh, and take the class, man. Um, it's it's a hell of a class, man. And you're gonna meet awesome people while you're doing it. Uh, the people I met down in Tucson uh, were all there to to get the same thing I was looking for. Uh, and the camaraderie is awesome. And and I can't say it enough. The family that Tactical Response builds out of the alumni is amazing. So check them out. Uh, if you guys could, if you liked the video, if you found it useful, if you like my rambling, go ahead and share this video, like uh, the video, and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out, uh, and it helps get the you know, information out to, the, to those that uh, need it. Uh, also, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at GingerMagic1775, the name of the channel. And uh, head on over there and shoot me a message. Let's talk about something. Um, and yeah, that, that's cool, man. I really appreciate you guys watching. You guys stay safe out there. And I'll talk to you next time.